In this example, we're going to draw a simple constructive solid geometry model to show off some concepts. I'm going to right click unsaved and hit new component. New component I'm going to rename as our CSG example. Document settings. I want to make sure that this model is actually in millimeters and I'll hit OK. The object that we're creating looks like this. To get started, we're going to use the two-point rectangle. And I'm going to draw this on the X and Y plane. I'm going to draw this rectangle in free space. And this rectangle, 50 by 75. So a 50 height, tab, 75 length. And I will lock both of those dimensions. The last thing I'm going to do is coincident this corner to the origin. This drawing is fully constrained and I'm going to stop my sketch. From here I'm going to extrude this sketch a distance of 15 millimeters. I'm going to hit OK. I now have my first sketch and my first extrude. If I need to ever go back I can use my inspect tool and check lengths. I can check distances between points. And I can check faces. So I can get my loop length, length of each side, angles, and area measurement. The next drawing is going to be located on the bottom of this object. So flip your model around to the bottom view. And we're going to sketch a two-point circle. Make sure you select that bottom face and not this work plane. Once I click that face, I'm going to draw a circle from this point and make sure it locks into that point there. I'm going to stop this sketch and now I can flip my part back over and I can see both parts of my circle. Again, I'm going to extrude using the E key. I'm going to select both parts of this circle and I'm going to extrude 40 millimeters. I notice that it is protruding in the wrong direction. So to correct that using the join and distance, I will make my dimension negative. The other problem by doing this is it is now cutting my shape out and I need the cylinder to join to this rectangle. So I'm going to use the operation join. And I will hit OK. Now I have a cylinder and a rectangular prism joined. I'm now going to take a cylinder and subtract it from another cylinder. In order to do that, I'm going to sketch on the top face of the created cylinder using my center diameter circle or C. Select the top face and make sure it lines up with the center. It should come up with a circle. Click, move your mouse, and you can type in your dimension. This is a 30 millimeter diameter circle. Press enter to lock the dimension and we can now see that this is a 30 millimeter circle. If you need to move your dimension, just click and drag. It's black, it's fully constrained. I'm gonna stop my sketch. I need to cut this cylinder out. So again, I will use my extrude. I will select that inner face. And I'm actually gonna cut through all. I'm gonna flip the direction and now we can see that cylinder is cutting. It's in red out of our original cylinder. I'm gonna hit okay. And now I've cut a cylinder out of another cylinder. I need to work on creating this slot. This half semicircle here is going to be created using another cylinder. We're going to use not the extrude command but the hole or H. I'm going to select this top face to draw my hole on and as a reference face I'm going to select this top face and if we recall, 
this distance was 50, so to center it, it's going to be 25. My next reference face is going to be in set 30. And I'm going to create a simple hole. The diameter is going to be 20. And my depth can be 30 to make sure I go through my entire part. And as I pick up my piece, it should. I can also change my extent to all to make sure that it clears the whole part. I'll hit OK. And now I've created a hole to work from. The last step to join this slot will be a rectangular prism. And I'm going to draw a two point rectangle on this face. I'm going to slide on this line and make sure I hit the base of my object. I'll use my D dimension tool. This bottom distance needs to be the diameter of the hole, so that will be 20. The last thing I need to do is make sure that it's centered as the hole is. So I will use the midpoint tool. I'll click the bottom line here and I will adjoin it to the midpoint of this base. That's fully constrained, and I'm going to stop my sketch. The last operation is to extrude into the hole, not the distance, but to object command. So for my profile, I'll select this shape, and for my object, I will select this hole. It's a cut command, I'll hit OK, and I have fully completed my part. I used one rectangular prism, one cylinder to join. I then cut another cylinder out of this cylinder. I then cut a cylinder out of this rectangular prism and then cut a rectangular prism into the cylinder and also into this rectangular prism, completing some constructive solid geometry cuts and joins. Make sure to save your file when you're done.